Hi everybody, I'm Tyler here with Emerald Bay Maintenance and today we're going to be taking the shaft from this weed whacker, which unfortunately is not working. We're going to swap it with that weed whacker shaft, which as you can see is bent, but it has a working head. So we're just going to pop them off, put them on, and go ahead and weed whack. Can I go weed whacking? Sorry, Tony. While I enjoy your enthusiasm and uh, your helpful spirit, unfortunately you're not wearing proper clothing. You don't even have shoes on. Now this is proper equipment. I have my helmet, and while it may not seem necessary for weed whacking, every once in a while while I'm going under a low-hanging tree to get some grass, I'll bump my head and I'm very appreciative that this is here. Having face mask in addition to my safety goggles and I have some hearing protection because the weed whackers can make a lot of noise. Uh, next here I have my weed whacker harness that it sits on on this little clip. The clip is attached to a safety catch so if I'm ever falling or something like that I can just pull it and the weed whacker will fall off me and I will be safe. I have on a nice uh, coverall here to keep rocks and grass from hitting me on my arms or anything like that, and I have closed toed shoes. Now, hey all you cool cats and kittens, let's look at the weed whacker itself. So when you're trying to start your weed whacker, you gotta make sure the stop isn't on. You come back here, you put the choke on, and you give it a crank. And it's real nice if it just rings. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Maybe if you push it off, there we go. And you let it run for a little bit before you go out because the engine needs to warm up. While I was outside showing you all the protective equipment you need to wear while you're wee whacking, Colin kindly stayed inside and continued to disassemble the engine to look for any spare parts we could use. And we also wanted to know what was wrong with this engine. Well, I think we found the problem. This is a normal clutch assembly on a weed whacker, and this is the one we just removed. Here we have a different weed whacker that has an issue with its hanger holder. As you can see, it's almost broken through. And Brandon is going to replace that one with the hanger holder from the bent shaft, since we don't need it anymore. It's been, and we're going to be nice and thrifty and have a whole bunch of working stuff now. Fix it back. That's kind of cool. 